In this video, we are going to discuss one more gate model related to interfacing with peripherals and addressing resistors. So now see the problem here, a, a peripheral is interfaced to the microprocessor as shown below, determine mode of interfa interfacing and the number of internal resistors and their addresses. So here if you observe this interfacing, so this is the peripheral interfaced to microprocessor and here we are having a chip select to select this peripheral and this peripheral having internal address lines as A3, A1, A0. This A3, A1, A0 will decide how many registers that we are going to use in this peripheral. So if you see this uh, number of address lines, we are having three number of address lines which are pointing to internal address. So we can identify, uh, we, we are having totally uh, 7, 8 combinations that is from 0 to 7. So, totally we are having 8 resistors that is from R0 to R7. So, like this we are having total resistors that means R0 to R7 means this is resistor 0, resistor 1 and resistor 7. Up to resistor 7 we are having a total of 8 resistors with this uh, address lines. That means for example, if you given 0, 0, 0 here it will points to resistor 0. If you given 0, 0, 1 here, it will points to resistor 1. And if you given uh, 0, 1, 0, it will points to R2, resistor 2. Like that, we need to identify the actual address of R0, R1 and R7 up to R7 and we need to write that address. So, before going to that addressing, we are having a first bit to solve that is what is the mode of interfacing. We know that we are having two modes for interfacing that is memory mapped I.O. and I.O. mapped I.O. In memory mapped I.O. we are not having separate I.O. and M line but here you can see I.O. and write or I.O. and M line. This is I.O. and M line. So here this line won't, uh, uh, will, uh, will not be there for memory mapped I.O. Only for I.O. mapped I.O. We, uh, we can have this line. So that means in memory mapped I.O. both I.O. and memory used for I memory operation only. But I.O. mapped I.O. memory and I.O. can be used as separate. So here in I.O. and M bar if you observe if you encounter any I.O. and M bar in any memory interfacing or memory mapping circuit then definitely that that is related to IO mapped IO interfacing mode. So here for this for this bit the answer is IO mapped IO the addressing mode is IO mapped IO. So now coming to the second bit the number of internal resistors that can be dependent upon A3, A1, A0 totally we are having 8 resistors that is from R0 to R8 that R0 to R8 I am writing here R0, R1, R2, R3, R4, R5, R6, R7, R8, R9, R10, R11, R12, so these are the 8 resistors we are having in this peripheral. Now coming to the addresses of that peripheral, so now we need to take all the address lines so, which are available. So, here what are the available address lines here? A7 to A0 are available, but A2 we are not using here. You can observe A7, A6, A5, A4 and A3, A2 we are not using, A1 and A0 we are using. That means, so we are using only lower byte of address that is also in that also we are not using A2 that means A2 is a don't care here. So see here I am writing lower byte of address that means A7 to A0, A7, A6, A5 and A4 I am writing nibble wise A3, A2, A1 and A0. Here from A7 to A4 these 4 address lines in this lower byte of address. So first 4 nibbles, so first 1 nibble is used for chip select of this peripheral. Remaining 3 address lines are used for addressing these resistors. Now coming to here, so A2 is not used means you can consider that as don't care. Now I am writing, so to select this peripheral what you need to get here means you need to get 0 here. So you need to get 0 here. 
why because this chip select is a active low chip select by getting 0 to this chip select you are going to select this peripheral. Now to get 0 at the output of R gate your inputs must be 0 0. So here your IO and M must be 0 and you are getting 0 here. To get 0 here you need to provide all 1s at the input of this NAND gate. To get 1 1 here you need to consider A6 and A5 as 0 and A7 as 1, A4 as 1. By using back propagation we, uh, we got A7 as 1, A7 as 1 and A6 as 0, A5 as 0 and A4 as 1. This is common for each and every address pointing to this peripheral. Why? Because first of all to address any register we need to select that particular peripheral or chip. Why? Because so without selecting that peripheral we cannot address the resistors in that. That is why first of all chip select is important. For selecting that chip this is common. That means for every register you are uh, higher nibble in this lower byte of address is similar. That means so you are going to write 1001 for each and every register. I am going to write this 1001 for each and every register from R0 to R7. Now coming to these values, these values will vary from register to register. So how they will vary means, so for R0 this is equivalent to 000. When we are going to uh, address R0 means whenever we got 00, 0 here then we are going to address the resistor 0. So like that, so Z, if you given 000, 0, 0, it will points to resistor 0. When you given 0, 0, 001, it will points to resistor 1. So when you given 010, 0, 0, it will points to resistor 2. 0, 011 1, 1 for 3, 100 0, 0 for 4, R4, for 101 for R5 and 110 for R6 and 111 for R7. These are the combinations that we need to provide in the place of A3, A1, A0 to address that registers. So this is the minimum address of that uh, registers, starting address of that registers R0 and ending address of registers is this. In this combination we do not know this A2, we are not using this A2 address line that means this is a do not care. So this is a do not care means you can consider either A2 as 0 or A2 as 1. For example, if your A2 is equal to 0, your address of R0 may vary. If your A2 is equivalent to 1, then your address may be different from this address. That means whenever A2 equal to 0, you are getting one address. When A2 equal to 1, you are getting another address. So here when A2 equal to 0 for example, the grouping will takes place like this. So the grouping will be like this. For each and every register we are having only 2 nibbles. So we are considering only 2 nibbles. Here only lower address, uh, lower order address will be there. So here in this A2 equal to 0, if you substituted A2 equal to 0, then it will points R0 as 90H. So this is 9 and this is 0 when A2 equal to 0. If A2 is equal to 1, then the address of R0 will become so 9 and if it is 1, so 94H. So the address of R0 or starting address of that peripheral can be defined by using A2. If A2 equal to 0, the starting address of that peripheral or address of R0 register 0 is equivalent to 90H. If your address line 2 is equivalent to 1, then your register 0 address will become 9, 94H or 94H. So here, now coming to here, if A2 equal to 0, similarly I am writing. So this is if this is equivalent to 0, 91H and this is 95H. When A2 equal to 1, 101 means 5, 95H. Coming to here, this is 9. If you consider 0 here, this is 92H. And coming to here, if you consider A2 equal to 1, this is 96H. So here 9, so this is if you consider 0, 93H. And coming to here, if you considered 1, this is 
97H. So coming to here, this is equivalent to so 9, 4. So if you consider 0 here, so then it will become 9, 8H. And if you consider 1 here, then this will be equivalent to so 8 plus 1. So 8 plus 4, this is equivalent to 12. 8 plus 4 equivalent to 12 means you can consider C. So 9CH. So now this is equivalent to 9 and if you consider 0 here, this is 99H and coming to here, so if you consider 1 here, so 8 plus 4 plus 1, 13 will come, 13 equivalent to D. So 9DH and coming to here, so 9, if you substituted A2 equal to 0, this is 1010, that means A, 9AH and coming to here, if you substituted 1 here, so this is equivalent to 9EH. So last register address for R7, this is equivalent to, if you substituted 0 in place of A2, so this is equal to 101111 means this is equivalent to 11. 9BH and coming to here, if you substituted 1 here, this is 9FH. So, your starting address of peripheral is 90H to 9FH. You can point the address from 90H to 9FH depending upon the value of A2. So, minimum address you can point in that peripheral is 90H, maximum address is 9FH. If they, uh, if they can ask for minimum and maximum address or they can ask for address of register individually. For example, in this question, they ask for the address of each and every register. The address of R0 is 90H or 94H. Minimum address of R0 may be 90H, maximum address of R0 may be 94H. So like that, for example, if you take an R4, the minimum address equivalent to 98H and uh, your maximum address may be 9CH. Like this, you need to get the address of registers in peripherals which are interfaced to microprocessor.